Hey guys, this is Dr. Hayden. Today we're going to talk about macular holes and what you can do to get the best outcome after macular hole surgery. If that interests you, stick around. So today we're talking about the macular holes and what you can do to get the best outcome. But before we do, if you like what I have to say, please hit that like button, consider subscribing, and let's get at it. Okay, so either you or someone in your family has had a macular hole and you're wondering, you know, is there something else that we can do to improve the outcome from the retinal hole surgery? So first of all, let's just talk about what a retinal hole is. It's a hole in the very center of the, of the retina, typically right over the macula where we get our finest vision. So it's really devastating. I've seen people with 2400 vision after a macular hole. So what we need to do is do everything that the retinal surgeon tells you to do postoperatively, which can be a lot. But please make sure if you have any questions, you go over it with them, their staff, they know the best path for you to get the best outcome. I'm, what I'm gonna give you today is a couple of things that you can take nutritionally that will hopefully help improve that outcome. The retinal hole surgery itself is the biggest thing. Making sure that hopefully you have found out you had one very close to the time that the macular hole actually occurred. You got to the surgeon, they're getting you right in, they're gonna do the surgery, do everything that they tell you to do it's incredibly important and then i'm going to tell you the two things the first of the two things is to take at least 2000 milligrams of fish oil a day we know that fish oil works as an anti-inflammatory agent and the omega-3s is what we're after the omega-3 fish oil pills is tremendous at decreasing the cellular inflammation. I'm gonna put a study down below that shows what happens in the retina with omega-3s. And it, 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 it's an article that goes on about a few different studies. So it's not just one. And then the second thing that I'd like you to do is to maybe check with your primary care, but to make sure your vitamin D levels are exactly where they should be. It should be somewhere, normal range runs between 30 and 120 I'd like to see you in that 50 to 55 range, especially while this macular hole is healing. So I would take at least 2,000 IUs of vitamin D3 a day to try to boost that up. Talk to your primary, let them know that, you know, that's exactly why you want to look at it. I'm going to put an article down below about the healing effects of vitamin D3 along with the retinal study on the omega-3s and then lastly I'm going to leave you with a, with a story that really triggered me years ago to think about the omega-3 D3 healing effect and it had nothing to do with the eye it was actually a doctor out of Atlanta Georgia his name is L. Ray Matthews and he went to his, um, he was an emergency room surgeon, started to see really improved healing effects of the elderly in his hospital on vitamin D, on vitamin D3. So he had this idea to go to his nephew's football team, get a parent-led program, and they put the kids on omega-3 fish oil with vitamin D. And now these kids, as you know, high school football players are very, apt to get concussions as they were at the school that he was at. Their concussion rate nearly went away after putting the kids on this. And I know that sounds amazing. I'm going to put a link to that story below. I think it was from 2013. But my thought process was, well, if that works for the, for the brain, for healing of the brain, why wouldn't it work for the retina? Because honestly, the retina is an extension of the brain. So I've had a few patients who have had macular hole surgery post-operatively. I've told them this, and I've seen some really good results. I've seen one patient that six months after the, the macular hole surgery was still like 2040, 2060, but she stuck to it, and she is now 
very, very close to 2020. And I think that making sure that these levels are where they should be is really helpful. So that's all I have to say today. Very specific, very to the point, but I hope it helps. I hope it certainly helps whoever you're thinking of. And again, please, please listen to that surgeon and do everything they tell you to do and then consider doing this on top of it. Hope that helped. Uh, hit that like button if you liked it and please consider subscribing. Thanks.